Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your monthly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of the support that you show me each and every day. If you are interested in receiving a daily oracle guidance message, I do actually draw and upload to my Instagram and Facebook page every single day a daily oracle guidance card. Um, so if you want some additional guidance aside from my weekly or monthly uh, tarot forecast, definitely head over to Instagram or Facebook and follow me. If you are interested in receiving a private reading, uh, head over to my website, read, read how I do offer my private readings. I do actually have my website linked below in the description bar, so if you are interested in a private reading, definitely head over to my website. For these general tarot forecasts, um, make sure that you're not just watching your sun sign, but your moon sign and your rising sign or ascendant sign as well, because um, with these general tarot forecasts, you know, some weeks you might resonate more with one, one sign, and then other weeks you actually might resonate more with, let's say, your moon sign or your rising sign. Uh, and sometimes you, you'll actually resonate with all of the signs, and you can actually um, gain more insight um, by watching your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So um, again, I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support, all of your support, all of your comments. You guys are just truly awesome. Um, and, and if you are interested in donating to my page to help support my channel, I do actually have on my website a donation uh, link as well. So definitely head over to my website. If you are interested in donating to my channel, I do wish you guys just a wonderful month. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Taurus, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your July 2016 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising signs. So Taurus, for this reading, I am using a Celtic cross spread. I do always use a Celtic cross spread when I'm doing my monthly tarot forecast. I'm also using the Thelema Tarot along with the Daily Guidance from Your Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. All right, upcoming future messages for Taurus for the month of July. Let's see. Strength. Beautiful. So for some of you, maybe there's a Leo that's quite significant in the month of July. And then for others, um, maybe you need to go within and rely upon your inner strength. Maybe you need to take control back within a situation because strength very much can represent control. And it's being patient when you need to be patient, but also taking that bull by the horns when you need to take control of a situation. All right, upcoming future messages for the sign of Taurus for July 2016. And Taurus, if you do hear some whimpering going on in the background, I did just get a new puppy, so she's a little bit whiny. All right, Taurus, so at the bottom of the deck, and this is the overall energy for the month of July, you actually have the High Priestess. Very nice, Taurus. Okay, so the High Priestess certainly can be you, especially if you're a very spiritual person, um, but I do feel like for many of you, this is you just being incredibly intuitive in the month of July, needing to trust your intuition. Absolutely, you need to listen to your intuition in the month of July. Um, the High Priestess, though, very secretive, mysterious person. So you, Taurus, um, you might just be incredibly secretive. 
not a bad thing. You might be keeping things to your, yourself, maybe playing your cards close to your chest. Um, for some of you, maybe you're learning something. Um, you could be actually becoming more spiritual. All right, so right at the center, Taurus, I do have the star. This is beautiful. So this is that divine energy all around you, Taurus. I am filming this at the end of June. So this could be energy that's around you right now at the end of June or right at the beginning of July. Um, this is your angels, your guides guiding you, protecting you, leading you towards you know, your wishes, towards your happiness. Um, the star represents, uh, yes, wish fulfillment, but also you remaining positive, remaining hopeful. Um, for the future keeping keeping the faith um, what I have crossing is the ten of pentacles so this is beautiful so we have the star with the ten of pentacles um, and the ten of pentacles is financial abundance security success um, this can talk about you know money within the family uh, for many generations this can be assets, this can talk of inheritances, property, a new home. So for some Taurians, um, you absolutely might be receiving some sort of wish come true in regards to maybe a family situation or in regards to a financial situation. Um, this also can certainly have something to do with um, an inheritance a home, a piece of property. And then um, for some other Taurians, of course, this is you remaining positive, maybe um, with a situation surrounding uh, the, the Ten of Pentacles, surrounding a family matter, surrounding, um, you know, a financial matter, maybe something to do with your job, something to do with... Um, you know, your legacy in some way or a piece of property. Just seeing what else I get here. Um, this is you being divinely guided towards whatever this is. If you're dealing with a situation, um, dealing with family, dealing with an inheritance, dealing with a piece of property, whatever this is for you, Taurus, this is you honestly receiving that that guidance that you need so just remain positive remain hopeful financially I think it's going to be a great month I see you moving towards this for some of you you're receiving it maybe right in the beginning of the month this is wish fulfillment here um, because we have the star here at the center and then the foundation is the nine of cups so this is just beautiful the nine of cups can certainly be wish fulfillment um, but it's also just emotional abundance, happiness. Your cups runneth over. You being in a really good place emotionally, Taurus. So this is beautiful. In the recent past, I do have the Two of Pentacles. So in the recent past, this could have been a decision that was quite significant, a decision that came to you, a decision that you made. And but I am feeling for some Taurians, this could have been kind of like the same thing happening over and over again. Maybe you're waiting on a decision, um, but things were a little delayed or maybe the same thing was happening over and over again for some Taurians. Um, but here, you know, you can see that, um, you know, you're no longer having to wait. Um, or, you know, for those of you who are not for very much longer, uh, you do have the Nine of Wands crowning you, which can certainly suggest that for some Taurians, you've been waiting for quite a long time. The Nine of Wands is, you know, you're starting to feel a little tired, a little exhausted with with having to wait. And, you know, for some of you, you've, you've been waiting for a long time, but you're hanging in there. This can be, for some of you, you really holding out you persevering and really being quite per persistent because what it is that you want um, you know is very very important to you uh, but coming up in the near future around the second week Taurus we do have the Empress so this is just amazing um, around the second week for some of you you're certainly maybe starting something new here the Empress represents birth new beginnings um, and then maybe for some other 
Victorians, this could be your mother that's quite significant or a motherly figure that's quite significant around this time. Um, she certainly can represent a character. If you are a mother, this could be you actually being um, more caring, loving, compassionate around this time. Um, if you are a woman who's trying to get pregnant, definitely around the second week of the month, give it a go because this is that very fertile energy. You actually could also be incredibly creative, um, coming up with lots of creative plans or ideas uh, that you would like to do, Taurus. Um, and whatever is started around this time, uh, when we have this energy of the, the Empress present, it will be incredibly rewarding, incredibly fruitful for you. The Empress is a very, very blessed, successful energy. So, you know, this is a great time to start new projects, to just start new beginnings. Now, in the position of your power, Taurus, I do have the Three of Cups. So for some of you, in the month of July, you're going to be more social, maybe around the second, third week of the month. This can be you actually going out and celebrating something. Maybe you're celebrating this wish come true, celebrating this new beginning. Um, but this is also, you know, a, a social energy. It's a, a more lighthearted energy being again in a really good place emotionally maybe wanting to get out and about wanting to celebrate now how other people around you Taurus are viewing you we do have the Queen of Cups so people are viewing you as just being incredibly loving caring giving and it doesn't matter if you're male or female you know you can definitely have these this Queen of Cups characteristics. Um, the Queen of Cups is also highly, highly uh, in touch with her, her intuition, highly, highly intuitive. So um, we have that High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So certainly, um, you know, for many Taurians, this is you being just incredibly intuitive, um, but in a really good place emotionally. Again, um, very, very loving, very caring. This is a very generous compassionate woman for some of you because I have the three of cups underneath the queen of cups um you know this is how other people are viewing you maybe they're viewing you as actually spending a lot of time with a queen of cups person this could be a relationship this could be a, uh, a family relationship a friendship so maybe you're spending a lot of time with a cancer scorpio or pisces um for some of you, but I do feel like for many of you, this is definitely your characteristics. But because I have this energy here underneath it, for some of you, this is you being more social, maybe spending more time with a water sign person. Now, in your hopes and fears, I do have the Four of Swords. So for some Taurians, maybe you're hoping to take a break, maybe hoping to go on vacation. Uh, the Four of Swords is also a healing energy. So hoping to heal um, yourself, heal a situation, um, you know, spend time alone, recharge your batteries, recuperate, um, just maybe to relax, hoping to relax or recharge your batteries. Uh, maybe fearing having to wait for something any longer because the Four of Swords can certainly represent, you know, the energy being at rest, but it's in the hopes and fears position. So, um, I think that for many of you Taurians, if you've been waiting a long time, I actually think that um, that that wait is finally coming to an end for many of you. Um, in the final outcome position, Taurus, I do have the world, so this is beautiful. This is completion. So, um, you know, you're, you're actually coming through quite successful here at the end of the month um, with completing a very, very long chapter or cycle within your life, Taurus. And with the world, we're talking about very, very long chapters within your life, um, you know, many years in the making. So this is, for many of you, you finally completing that, that chapter or that cycle, and now you're moving on to that next chapter, next cycle of your life. The world represents rebirth, but it's also a very, very blessed energy. So you're surrounded by this beautiful, blessed energy. Um, you know, the world for others, uh, for other Taurians can certainly represent you traveling. Uh, this can be long distance travel. You might be vacationing because we have that Four of Swords here. You might definitely be uh, traveling at the end of the month, going on vacation for some Taurians. 
um, or moving forward in some way. Maybe you're just simply moving forward towards that next chapter in your life, that new beginning. And then for other Taurians, this can certainly be movement, you moving towards something here, traveling. But overall, Taurus, um, this is great. Um, I see you being emotionally fulfilled here. A lot of happiness coming through. Um, you know, overall, I think it's going to be a beautiful month financially. It's going to be a great month. Emotionally, it's going to be a great month. I see you maybe getting out and about around the second or third week. Um, being quite social, maybe going out and celebrating something. For some of you, you're simply celebrating the fact that you no, no longer have to wait for something. Um, I do know I am a Taurus myself, and I, you know, with the weekly forecast, I do know that you know many, many Taurians have been waiting on something for quite a long time. Um, and for many of you, this is the month that um, you know. We have this completion. Um, things are being completed finally. Um, you know, you're headed towards new beginnings. But also with the high priestess, you know, maybe there's something that's being revealed here. Um, and that certainly can be like a wish that you've, you might have had, Taurus, where um, you were wondering about something. The high priestess can represent that secret or that mystery, um, you know, maybe being revealed with some of this energy here. All right, so some additional guidance for Taurus for the month of July. What else does Taurus need to know? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know? Please show me some additional guidance for Taurus. There we go. This card just shot right out. Very nice, Taurus. Entrepreneur. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Very nice, Taurus. So, if you're a Taurian who has been waiting on this opportunity, for some of you, this could be that wish coming true. Um, and maybe you're actually starting your own business. So this is this is awesome, Taurus. Um, this is your angels, your guides backing you up. Absolutely, they are your coworkers. They are your teammates um, who will remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Um, if you're a Taurian who was contemplating starting your own business, here you go. This is a major confirmation coming through for you, Taurus. Um, and this will bring in that, that abundance, uh, that prosperity, that stability. Okay, Taurus? So, honestly, you have a great month ahead of you. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading, and I hope you have a great month of July. Take care.